Hello and welcome back to Engineering League. In our previous video, we discussed resource assignment to specific activities in Microsoft Project. For that video, I will leave the link in the description of this video. In today's video, we will discuss resource leveling in Microsoft Project. For example, let's add another activity here, which will be closing the project procurements. I will name this activity closing procurements. Now in this specific project, this activity will come after installation. So what we will do is double click on installation and link it to this activity. Moreover, this activity should be linked to the end milestone as well. Because as we mentioned in our previous videos, that each of your activities in Microsoft Project and in project management in general should have at least one predecessor and one successor. If not, it will be called Hangar in Project Management and the tool that you are using won't be able to calculate your critical path correctly. Next, let's assign a duration for this activity, for example, two days. Now, out of the resources that we have assigned for our project, let's assign another resource for this activity. We will go to Resource, Assign Resources. We will assign a resource, for example, let's assign Alex. As you might have noticed here, for the testing and the closing procurement, the red icons appeared here, which means that this task has over allocated resources, which means that there is one resource which is working on two activities in the same time, which won't be applicable. For that purpose, we apply the resource leveling. As you might know, the definition for resource leveling, it changes our critical path. Let's see the critical path for this project. We will go to Format, we'll click Critical Tasks. The critical path will be shown in red here. And this activity is not in the critical path, the closing procurement. But if we apply resource leveling according to its definition, our critical path should be affected. In order to level the resources or the conflict that has appeared in here, we will go to resource and we can use the level resource option, level all, and by right clicking here, reschedule to available date. All three of these buttons perform different types of tasks. If you click level resource, what it will do is it will level the resources for the current activity or the selected activity. For example, at this time, Alex is busy with closing procurement. So what Microsoft Project will do, it will transfer some of the task from the testing after the closing procurement is completed so that Alex can be free and perform that task. The level all, it levels the resource conflicts all over your project schedule. If you have scheduled with hundreds of activities, the level all at one click will level all the resources in all the project schedule. Let's see the differences. For example, if we click level resource and we will click on Alex level now, what it did is the part that belonged to Alex was moved after this closing procurement was completed. This is one method. I will undo this. Next, level all. Since we only have a conflict with Alex, so the same thing appeared by level all and level resources. If this problem was with different types of resources or different resources, this would have been different. I will undo this as well. And here, if you right click, and go to reschedule to available date, it will move the whole activity, for example, as you can see in here. The testing is moved after the closing procurement is completed, which means that Alex is free and then he can perform the testing. I will undo this, as I mentioned earlier, that level resources affects the critical path. So if you see the total duration of the project here, which is 27 days, if you reschedule this task to another date, this will be 29 days, and that icons will disappear from here. I hope you liked the contents of the video. If you did so, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video 
for more content like this. Thank you very much for watching.